In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove that ugly fisheye look from your GoPro footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So if you're shooting video on a GoPro and you've got your GoPro set to wide or super view, then the edges of the footage are going to look really distorted and it will almost look as if the footage has been shot on a fish eye lens. And this can look really awesome for particular things like action videos, for example, but if you don't want the fisheye look on your footage, then how do you remove it? Well, we use Premiere Pro. So once you've got your GoPro footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and it is on your timeline, all we have to do is select the footage, go into effects, search for lens distort. And in the distort section under video effects, you should find lens distortion. Drop that onto your footage. And as you can see in lens distortion, we've got all of these different settings, but the one that matters the most to us is curvature. So if we pull the curvature to a negative 100, you can see that the video comes towards us. Whereas if we pull it all the way down to plus 100, the video goes away from us. So essentially we want to pull the edges of the video towards us a little bit to undo that fish eye look in the footage. So this means we need to go into the negatives rather than into the positives. So you just want to pull the curvature down to a number that works for yourself. So zero, it looks super distorted, but if we pull this down to around negative 30, then you can see the footage is starting to look a bit more normal. If we pull this a bit too far, then you can see the edges of the video start to distort the other way. So it's really important that you find the perfect number. This really is a juggling act and it may take a little bit of time to find the right number, but I find somewhere around the 30 zone is the perfect setting if you are on super view on your GoPro. And there you go. Fortunately, this effect is super easy. You don't have to go through loads and loads of different settings. You just have to drop lens distortion on your footage, pull the curvature down to around negative 30 and your super view footage now looks linear. So there you go. If you feel like this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, then please do consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.